Hi, I'm Wendy Madsen. I want to show you a brand new piecing technique using the Quilters Trim Plate tool that will be available from CNT Publishing, and it is to make the diamond unit from the traditional Storm at Sea quilt. Let me show you how fast and easy it is to use this tool. Start with rectangles. We're going to shape this rectangle into a diamond using this part of the trim plate that's covering up one corner with the shaded area. Cut one corner off, just trim that off, flip it over, and use the same part of the trim plate to cut the other side off. The diamond is shaped on one end. Now it's ready to sew the triangles on the side. The next part is to shape the opposite end of the diamond, and a second part of the trim plate is used for that, and this is aligning the dashed lines onto the seams that are already sewn. With the trim plate in this position, the dashed lines on the seam lines, one corner is removed, and swivel the trim plate, use the second set of dash lines, and the other corner is removed. Now, four triangles are added to the diamond, and you've got excess fabric on four sides, and it's ready to be trimmed to the finished piece. And that's even easier, because the markings are on the trim plate. All you do is position the diamond lines on top of the seams you have already sewn, and cut away the excess fabric on four sides to get a finished, perfect diamond unit. The second trim plate in the set allows you to make this unit, this block, in a very similar manner. Oversized triangles are added to a central square. They don't have to be positioned exactly. The trim plate is used to square it off or trim it up, cutting around four sides. Then more oversized triangles are added to the outside edge. And this last part of the trim plate allows you to make the trim and get a finished perfect, very exact square unit.